Today, the Lincoln City community stepping in during this tough year to provide free Thanksgiving meals. So if you're out on the coast, there are two opportunities for you to grab some free food. Joining us live this morning is Judy Melcher with the Church of Nazarene and Leslie Portoon, owner of Snug Harbor Bar and Grill. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for taking time out of this Thanksgiving morning. So uh, first for Judy, you know, the church is hosting these free drive through meals. So uh, when exactly is that and what's all included? Well, um, they get a full meal in fact here. We, they said to have one prepared. Oh, so, uh, oh there it is. Boom. Okay, so it looks like mashed potatoes and meat, kind of the the traditional turkey. Traditional. We got gravy, vegetables, yeah. um, cranberry sauce, and pie. Nice. Okay, and so then, and when is that exactly? We're going to start handing them out at eleven, and we're going to go until the food's gone. Nice. Okay. We have cooked over fifty turkeys. So. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's that's a lot. And so, and so how did the church uh, go about putting this effort together? Uh, about less than two weeks ago, things were closing down and a friend and I were talking and thought we could put together some meals. I was figuring 150, 200 people, you know, those that are falling through the cracks, especially for the homeless and, and those that, that don't have a way to cook a meal. Um, and it just snowballed from there. Oh, that's really great. You know, uh, Leslie, the restaurant obviously closed right now. So tell us about your meal giveaway that you're doing. Well, we're doing a full Thanksgiving dinner as well. We usually do uh, complimentary meals on Thanksgiving for all of our locals. And since we can't do in inside dining this year, we're just going to do takeout. So Make, making the best of it, yeah. And, and Leslie, this isn't the first year of, of uh, giving away food for you guys? Oh, no, we've been doing it for many years. I've owned the bar for going on 15 years, and it was a tradition way before me, so. Oh, well, that's